After our first two pages in book three, the rest of our problems will look like this. Here we see we have two factors. Our over factor, x plus two, and our up factor, x plus four. Here again, we could outline it, or we can just recognize that if we go over x and we go up x, we will have an x squared. Over x and up x, the two dimensions give us an outline for an x squared. And we can connect the over and the up, the first over and up, which will show us our first piece or our x squared. Now in all our multiplications from here on out, we will always be doing the same thing. We will always be building a rectangle. We will always get our first piece and then we will come over the amount we must come over. We must come over two units. I must extend the entire amount over two units. I extended the distance of the entire amount over two. I am already up x by getting my first piece, so I must now extend my dis distance up four. I can extend the distance up four by placing the four x bars above. Now all I have to do is fill in the corner, which requires the rectangle two by four. Notice, my rectangle is made up of four rectangles. And I will shift it so we can see the four rectangles. And here we have the representations of the four rectangles. Here we have this rectangle, which contains eight units. And notice again, we are doing what? Learning our multiplication facts. Two by four is eight. Here we have four x's in this rectangle. Here we have two rectangle, two x's in this rectangle. And here we have x squared in this rectangle. Our total number of units is eight. Our total number of x's is four plus two, or six x's, six x's, and we have one x squared. At this point, doing the problems becomes a very easy matter if we are gaining more and more efficiency with our multiplication facts. The addition facts will not slow us down so much because it is easy to add a small amount to a larger amount. But as we move along, it would take us forever if we had to stop and count every individual unit. We must be able to skip count those amounts, count by eights, eight, 16, 24, etc., and then eventually just know that eight, nine times is 72. An important thing that we can do to help learn these times tables is doing lots of memory, memory games and matching games where we have our 72 on the back and the kids can play games and memorize those facts.